Here is your latest Africa news update. Former British Secretary of State for Defense sacked for allegedly making plans to invade Africa. Gavin Williamson was sacked for leaking state secrets and for plans for the invasion of Africa. A leaked national security document said that Williamson drew up plans for the British armed forces to be sent to at least five African countries including Zimbabwe, Nigeria, Kenya and Egypt. Ministry of Defense officials said that Williamson wanted to find excuses to send troops. Prime Minister Theresa May fired Williamson over allegations that he leaked very sensitive government information from the National Security Council and concerned that he risked dragging Britain into war. According to claims by the Prime Minister's allies, they added he wanted to invade Africa. He made it clear that he was keen to send troops in Africa. Prime Minister Theresa May also reportedly blocked Mr. Williamson from sending British troops to invade Africa. The former British Secretary of State for Defense, Gavin Williamson, said that the reports alleging he wanted to invade Africa were leaked to discredit him, writes The Guardian. It's important to start off by asking the question of why do we fight, why do we invest in defense? It is fundamentally to protect our people, protect our interests, and of course to defend Britain. As a nation, we've never shied away from acting, even if that has meant standing alone. A threat not just to any nation, but to all who cherish the values and the Western way of life. A global ideology seeking the destruction of everything that we hold dear. We have learnt much from fighting Al-Qaeda and Daesh. But while we tackled this extremism, state-on-state -state competition has been reviving. How are you? Uh, absolutely not. If you like informative and educative African videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our latest videos. Do you have any African news tips? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to catch the latest African news.